All right. Let's try this one again. I think I have kind of like a extremely basic understanding of how this works. And when I say an extremely basic for understanding of how this works, I think so. So, we're going to look at our dice. Now we've got we've got two fours. So, we're going to bet that we've got two fours because there are in fact at least two fours on this table. Um, previous bid is lower, yeah, five twos, enter a new bid or call out a bluff, I'm going to call out a bluff, because there can only be 15 dices, so, or oh, 15 die on the table, so the idea that there's five twos is unlikely, Yep, it was a buff, a uh, bluff. Nice. <laughs> Ready for a redhead at the bottom of your glass, eh? All right. This, uh, I do think the way they explain this game is very poor. So, I mean, he's bidding that there is um, two twos, which is very possible. I mean, we have uh, two two. Uh, we have one two, and if he's saying he's got two twos, we could say that there's three on the table, because there might be. So let's enter the bid. Again, he's saying five twos. Um, I'm just going to call out his bluff. There could be. Right, that's one. That's two. So there was only two. It was a bluff. Ha ha. All right. Now there's 13 dice left. So I... I He's betting that there's two twos. Well, we have a two. And again, we have a two. He's saying that he has a two. So let's bet that there's three twos again. Because there's a good chance that there is. Right. So we win. The bid was true. Eat, eat shit. We haven't won yet, but... Right, he's betting that there's one. So... I mean, we've got a... We have a six as well. So, if he's betting that there are two... We can bet that there's at least three sixes and because the laws of chance say there could well be three sixes who's he calls the bluff zero zero okay the bid was a bluff only one Don't worry too much if you don't understand the game. It is really quite confusing. Alright. Bids that there's two ones. What have we got? We don't have any ones. So there could be. We don't really... We do have two threes though. So let's bet... 
Let's bet that there is at least two threes. There is a chance that there's three threes. I think that's a reasonable chance. Let's bet that. Four ones. Right, so we we are actually winning here. Because there was indeed there was indeed three um threes on the table. Bids that there is one one, he bids that there are two ones. Well we we actually we have three ones on our own. So yeah, we literally have three ones. So let's bid that there are three ones because there is at least three of them. There is a good chance that there is four. But there's definitely three. Definitely three. Let's bid. Do we knock it up a notch or do we bid three? Last bid was two. Well, I'm going to bid three because there's definitely three. There is definitely three. You look like a bullshit. Okay. Bid was a bluff. Right, he's almost out. Alright. So. He's going to bid that there's... T ooh, two sixes. Or two fives. So two sixes. We don't have any sixes. But I am going to bid... I don't think we can actually go backwards in face value. But I'm going to bid that there's three threes. Because we know that we have three threes. So there's more than likely three. Let's see if that works. Ah, oh, he calls my bluff. That's fine, because we know we're right. And we are right. Eat it. He's out. You have won the land deed from the gambler. Oh. That was reasonably easy. So, let's see if we can fight here. He's betting that there's at least two ones. We do actually have a one. But, what else do we have? There could be two. There could be two. There could well be. Um. Hmm. I am gonna bet that there is three ones. Well, there's very unlikely to be five ones. <laughs> Because that would mean all of his dice. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna call him. Yep, you lie, sir. Okay, so he's only got two die left. Bear that in mind. So he could have a one. But we have a one as well. So he's bidding that there is one. But there is quite likely two. That would mean 50% of his dice are a one. So let's try it. Let's see. Oh. There is not going to be four ones. Because he only has two dice. And we have one one. So I'm going to say that's a bluff. Yep. Was a bluff. Get out of here, you fool. 
Why are you lying, friend? He's got one dice left. So, he's bidding, he's betting that there is one. Ooh. There could be. There could be. But do you know what there more than likely definitely is? More than likely definitely is two fives. And he's just lost because there is definitely two fives. He was not lying though, he did have a one. Get out of here, dude. Alright, I actually understand. I understand how that works. Um that's not that bad. Anyway, we have what we Yeah, we wanna quit. We have what we came here for. We have the land deed. So, let's have a little gander. If we go into our actual... Uh, it's not a consumable, I guess, is it? It's... Pardon, right, there's the land deed. Okay, let's go take that back to our friend. All right. I'm reasonably happy with that. That game, uh, it sort of seems complicated, but I actually don't think it's that complicated. You absolutely do need to play it a few times, though, to get it. Also, who opened the door for my horse? Or are we just going to gloss over that? Let's just gloss over that. Okay. Some guy's just about it by the farm. Uh, now, we needed to take this back there, didn't we? Oh, Benedict. Oh, no, right, yeah, because we've got the crazy bastard shooting up left, right, center. All right, going to be a bit of a trek, guys, but... <laughs> but, you know, we might find some crazy stuff on the way. As is the style of the time. <laughs> oh, we just trampled that poor man into the ground. <laughs> Crushed his head, broke his ribs. Uh, he'll never work again, and his family's going to die now. But that's okay, because we've got the land deed, and that's all that matters. Can't care about everyone, John. Sure as hell can't. Now, out of the way, guys. I will say... In the second game, there's a lot more kind of events that can kind of, yeah, show up during gameplay, but you expect that. I also have to say that I'm way more excited about a Red Dead Redemption 3 than I am a GTA 6. I do kind of get the feeling that the hype and fever pitch around GTA 6 is now so large that it cannot possibly, um, you know... It cannot possibly um, live up to the hype, but who knows? Rockstar are very, very, very good developers. But I also think that GTA 6 is going to be completely marred with microtransactions, and I do wonder how much the main story is going to be um, sliced up and... Uh, interfered with because they're going to be heavily emphasizing the online component of which I have absolutely no interest in whatsoever but we shall see I suppose but with the power of these consoles you know the Series X and the PlayStation 5 it's going to be interesting obviously GTA 6 is going to be another one of these games that is ported to the next three console generations so let's just hope that waiting a decade, or by the time it comes out, possibly over a decade, let's hope it was worth it. I mean, I'm pretty sure it will be, to some degree. I mean, GTA V was, in my opinion, a hell of a game. And it really was. Don't really know much about the online. I mean, I played GTA V online a little bit. Um for about 10 minutes here and there 
and uh, I was thoroughly bored and then I did try a little bit of Red Dead 2 online and well I got thoroughly bored of that in about an hour as well I suppose if you've got a decent group of people to play with and you're the sort of person that doesn't mind endlessly re-grinding out the same missions over and over and over again which is what I basically find most of these uh, online games boils down to like Destiny and Call of Duty and you know things like that you're just endlessly endlessly doing the same thing over and over and over and over again with no story or anything which you know if that's your bag fair enough but it's certainly not my bag that's one of the reasons things like War Thunder didn't keep my attention even though I did give that a really good try and all these online MMOs they just they're certainly not my sort of thing there's only so many times you can go and defeat ten skeletons or you know find a plot item and return it to the person who was asking for it or defeat this world ending boss that's just gonna respawn and <laughs> as soon as you uh, complete that dungeon he's just gonna respawn again and then he's gonna you know then you're gonna get to fight him again and again and again and again over and over repeating the same quest Right, that didn't take long to get to at all, actually. Me? I know exactly what I did last night. You called Spatchcock? Well, who's asking? Who do you think is asking? Listen, partner. You stay cool, or I'll cool you down by putting a hole in you. Mm -hmm. You've been practicing that line all week, fool. Don't make me come over there and teach you a lesson. Man, I hope you shoot better than you act tough. And that fool really will lose some money. Now get up and fight. So I'm guessing I gotta shoot this guy's gun. Make sure to disarm the gunslinger by shooting him in his right arm. Yeah, he wants him back alive. See, the trouble is, I don't really have any idea how to <laughs> do this. I fear the first few times we've done this has been by pure luck. Right, so I'm guessing we draw the gun. And we got to shoot him. Don't kill me. Please. I'm just an actor. Right. <sighs> so, the, but what... I didn't do anything different there. I, um... Is it because I put too many markers on them before? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm confused as hell. I'll have your gun though, mate. Cheers. Yeah, so I, yeah, I have no idea how we, uh, we actually finished that. Hey, he's off. He's got his running shoes on, I see. Better get going, brother. Now, so, I suppose really, whilst we're here, we could nip up and buy that property. Because that is another thing on our to-do list for the 100%. And then we can go have a look at Irish. Start working through some of his missions. Ah, oh, we still need to shoot the hats off. Two hats off, people. And fight wolves. But I swear fighting wolves is going to be... I think we're going to be stuck on that for a while. But, you know, whatever. I'm sure at some point the opportunity will arise where we can stick some. I'm hoping we're going to be going to Mexico soon. Because we're... Uh, 
Uh, well, I mean, I'll try and help your wife. Last time uh, we tried to help someone that was about to be hung, it, uh, it didn't go so well. Look, if they're gonna hang your wife, mate, you might want to get a get a move on, pal. Unless you uh, only want to make a token effort at saving her. Right. Now, where is this poor woman? Oh, there she is. Right. No, don't shoot her. Right, so we're gonna... Right, let's shoot his hat off. Oh, that's his gun. I mean, we shot his hat off. That was actually a reasonable success. Great success. Right, let's loot up all these stiffs and I'll be right back with you. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. Well, I mean, we saved some woman's wife, some woman's wife, I mean, some bloke's wife, so, you know, I guess our skills are somewhat improving. This game certainly has a, a very unique sort of gameplay style. And while I don't think it's bad, it definitely takes some learning, um, some acclimatizing to say the least. I think it's just got that horrible rage engine, heavy, unwieldy mechanic to it. All right, now let's go buy us some property up here, shall we? I think we also need to win a game of uh, poker here or something. Which we can do a little bit later on. A hundred bucks? Sure. We pretty much earned a hundred bucks. Getting here, so that's fine. Um, right, let's drop a save. And I still have absolutely no idea how <laughs> we managed to achieve that, that, um, standoff. Or that duel, I should say. Right, midnight. Let's get going. Let's go see Mr. Irish. Well, if you would stand in my way you're rather likely to get trampled. Just saying. Now, Irish. Oh, and we can go sort him out as well. Cool. Careful, Midnight. We don't need you breaking any legs now. Certainly don't want uh, any unnecessary... Oh, God. Oh! Oh, okay. That was not what I was expecting. Is he dead? No, he definitely takes three shots. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I did. Uh, wow. So for saving you, you're you're gonna pray for me at the church. <sighs> you could have just told me you have no money. It would have been fine. I'm not gonna be that upset that you don't have any money to pay me. Let's right, let's get out of here. Also, you're pretty foolish to be running around here without uh, any method of defending yourself. And you're foolish, after surviving that, to be standing here. But, what do I know, eh? Thought I heard some wolves. 
Nope. No wolves. Careful now. No broken legs. Jesus. It's fine. I think these horses are actually fairly durable. Which is good. You would assume a horse would be somewhat durable. Another horse up there. Alright. Been quite the eventful adventure, to be honest. Save some women from being hung. Save somebody from some cougars. Bought ourselves a property. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Almost there. Now, I don't think there's ever a quest to go hunting armadillos. But I could be wrong. Also, they don't seem to be worth a lot of money. Whoa. And there we go. Home sweet home. At least one of many homes. Excellent. Full speed ahead. Evening, evening everybody. How's it going? Somebody's crying. Out of the way, dick. A Frenchman, a Welshman, and an Irishman. Yes, boy, you missed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You got it all wrong, Wes. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's going to turn black. What's up, boys? Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt <laughs> is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy -o? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. You reckon uh, that poor Irish is what dying for? Right. Let's see... If... Well... Not quite what we were looking for. Since I just saved your life. Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Oh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> what about the gun? It'll be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Well, I guess old Irish has had, uh, Irish must have had a bit of a bath, so hopefully he's not too senchy himself. No need to be poor in personal hygiene. Not in this day and age. We are part of the modern society, after all. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Oh, 
sick as this ever since. And that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown <laughs> each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit so he should know. <laughs> the kind of fellas who would steal an egg horn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French class... He didn't sound very French. Well, he sure speaks English funny. Not far now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. What <laughs> <laughs> the fella, oh. I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish? I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Two bad slugs who think they're snakes. Better watch your mouth, me friend. I've cut out a man's tongue for less. <laughs> He's got a bit of an arsehole to him, this Irish fella. As they do. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chest. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Right, well, I'm guessing... <sighs> I'm guessing that they don't have access to the machine gun. Might as well start as we mean to go on. Uh, I think they're sort of hard men. I didn't quite see him there, hiding. Come on, my friend. Let's see that nice little head of yours. Come on. There we go. Oh, through the sternum. That works as well. Come on. Don't be shy. He's almost dead. He would have been dead if he wasn't such a coward. Oof. Oh. Should have stayed put, mate. Should have stayed put. Right, I'm going to turn my headset down because it has occurred to me that I've been shouting. Oof. Oh, we got the sharpshooter rank. We sure it's half. So, what do we need to do for the next? Kill three bears each with one shot. Oof. I actually don't think that's that difficult. But we're going to need a more powerful weapon. Come on, buddy. I'm not going to hurt you. It's going to be over nice and quick. There we go. Right, let's go loot these corpses. Alright, you can stand up now, John. God, I wish the looting was this quick in the second game. I wonder if there's a mod for it on PC, actually, that removes that. Possibly. Might be worth investigating. Uh oh. No, I actually did not see you, but unfortunately for you, I've got dead eye. So, did we just pick up a new weapon? We did, the double barreled shotgun. I actually think the double barreled shotgun will kill a bear as long as you shoot him in the face. It's not here. That lion sack of shit. Yeah, I think that's going to be a bit of a theme for Irish. What you got on, I'm getting the feeling that he's a bit of a snaky bullshitter. Just saying. Uh, well, that was unfortunate. Still, pretty sure we did the Lord's work here. By getting rid of these men. Anyway. We're on 35 minutes, actually. Okay. So, with that, guys... We are going to call it an evening then. Look at that. Ain't that pretty for a game that's, what, 
nearly 15 years old not too shabby at all anyway game uh anyway games yes games anyway guys thank you very much for watching and as always till next time